Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. Two items today. Uh, yeah, quite different. I think I'll do this one first. They came from different charity shops. Let's move that one out of the way for a minute. Right, this one. I paid £1.99 for it, which I think was a bit over the top. Because although it looks very nice, it is just a cheap plastic one. It's a flywheel or friction powered one. It's not even a pullback, it's just a got a flywheel in there that keeps the wheels turning after you've pushed it. It feels sort of cheap plasticky. It's got no windows in it. Uh, it's obviously got a moulded interior in silver coated plastic got big speakers in the back there or dummy speakers and it does actually say zeppelin there but there's no manufacturer's details on it anywhere it does say made in china but that's it i'm in two minds what to do with it I, mean, I could just leave it as a display model because it does look nice. I could do one of my silly radio control conversions where we just use the body shell and stick it on uh, some big fat wheels of an off-roader so it, it looks impressive. Or I could do a reasonably sensible conversion where we have wheels that are about the same size and just make it radio control. All this um, chassis would have to go but I should be able to rig up some wheels there that probably turn within the right space these are hard plastic so whether I retain them just for looks or whether we change them to rubber tires and it's not for racing it it's just to make it go along so you can drive it and it looks nice. So that's a potential project for the future. So it looks nice, but it is basically cheap plastic. And at £1.99, I think I paid too much for it. So put that one out of the way again. Bring this one back in. And conversely, this one was only 99 pence, so it was half the price of the other one. This one's probably a collector's item. Certainly if you're a Thunderbirds enthusiast, then you would probably want this. Thunderbird 2, so say 99 pence. It costs me. It's got quite a few features. Uh, for a start, it's got a battery pack on the back there. So it makes noises. Uh, oh, let's hear the noises. Did I leave it switched on? Yes, I did leave it switched on. So press the button. So we've got flashing LEDs at the back. I did think that there ought to have been some LEDs in the front there, but I don't see any. Let's do that again. That's the button just under the fin there, or what do you want to call that? Tail. Yeah, I would have thought there should have been some lights in there as well, but there isn't. Um, we've got the four legs that come down, and then we've got three compartments that come down and then that, that's the um, thrusters to bring it down vertically but obviously they don't work and it looks like it's all there um, right let's just release the legs oh, put the lights back on right press the top there and the legs come out
So there's four legs. Um, they don't actually lock in place. I think they probably should lock in place. But they, you know, they slip back up and inside. I don't want to pull them too hard in case I break them, but I think they're, they look like they're designed to lock in place, but they're not. I'll try gently twisting them a little bit. That doesn't do it. If I let them down very gently, they do stay in place. Actually, that's probably true to the original animation. That would be the suspension, wouldn't it? Taking up the slack as it comes down. Push them back up out of the way. And then we've got the three um, compartments. So press that on the top there. And that one drops out. I suspect it originally may have had um, Thunderbird. Which one is it? I can't remember. Four? No. I can't remember. There was a little yellow one that went underwater. And then the other two. That one. And that one. Yeah, that's why I'm all done, I suppose. So yeah, that's its load bays. All come down nicely. Now if they are all the way down, then clearly those don't come down quite far enough. Even if you pull them out. As I say, unless I'm just not pulling them hard enough, but I, I really don't want to force the issue. But it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Did I say a date on it? WT Venture. ITC Entertainment, Bandai, 2004. I don't know if we can get that on the screen. But costing me 99 pence, that's, that's a real find. I mean, it's not absolutely perfectly clean. I expect if I rub it with a damp cloth or something, that'll clean up. But that's a proper find, that one is. Beautiful. So, there we go. Two items. A nice looking car, but I think a bit overpriced. And a Thunderbird, Thunderbird 2, that was probably underpriced. Happy. I'm not going to do this now, but I just thought I'd give you an idea of where I was thinking. I've got this chassis off of a car. It's one that I've actually converted to full hobby grade radio control with a servo in it. And it was originally just toy grade. Um, those wheels are very close to the same size. The wheelbase obviously is completely different, but I could just chop this in half and spread it. Um, the width is a bit under distance but I expect looking at the um, axle it looks like it's the same thickness so I might even be able to drift the gear off of that shaft, that axle, push it onto that axle and actually retain the same width um, or the same axle still using those plastic tyres or change it out for these rubber ones which would be better grip front end again a little bit narrow so we could chop this right up and potentially just use the uh, wishbones whatever you call them and mount them in there somehow to do it so that's one option no, I was actually showing you that the wrong way around. That's the back, that's the front. 
but you get the idea yeah that's a potential the other option is this fella again a little bit short on wheelbase but you could chop this one up and spread it extend its wheelbase width wise eh, not bad it'd look about right for the idea they'd be sticking out a bit um, and you would want that sitting up which side can we show that here yeah. you'd want it sitting up on top I think because if you try to get those wheels turning inside there they just get stuck on the bodywork so it'd be better to have it as a high rider or whatever you want to call it way above the bodywork so yeah just sort of the way my mind is thinking don't know when I'll do it but that's probably what will happen to that one and finally I did promise I'd give it a push up the kitchen so we could see it going goes along quite nicely. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.